going to make a cup of tea. Would you like a cup of tea? Sure, why not? So, would you like to tell me what brought you here? Wasn't that the point of the form I filled out? Well, yes, and no. It was mainly to see if I'd be a good fit for you. So? Do you think you're a good fit for me? Truthfully, I don't know yet. This is our first session. We still have a lot to talk about. Where do you want to start? I assume what happened would be a good place to start. But you already know what happened. I put that on my consultation form. You must think you can do something for me? Or else you wouldn't... I wouldn't be here. Why'd you accept me as a patient? I want to help you in any way I can. Be someone who will listen to you, help you navigate the trauma you've been through, support you any way I'm capable. I might not be the right fit for you, but I want you to know that you're in control here. Okay? You don't have to talk about anything you don't want to talk about. Everything's confidential. You don't have to stay. You can leave at any time. You have control over everything we talk about, and nothing should be intolerable. Uncomfortable? Yes. Therapy can be uncomfortable. This will be uncomfortable. But so is growth. And that's what this experience is trying to facilitate. Growth, so your trauma doesn't define you. So you have the opportunity to define you. It won't happen overnight, and it surely won't happen in the first session. But we have to start somewhere. So do you want to talk about the sexual assault? I don't want to. But I think I should. I know I should. That's why I'm here. And I wasn't just sexually assaulted. I was raped. You can say it. Do you want me to say it? This is a safe space, and if you don't want me to Yes, use... I want you to say it. I'm sorry. I'm just sick of everyone downplaying what happened. I was raped. The sooner we admit it, the sooner I can admit it, the sooner I can get over it. So you want to get over it. Do you mind if I take some notes? Sure. I want to better understand what you mean by get over it. I don't want to think about it. I want to get to a point where I don't have to talk about it. I don't want anyone else to know about it. I want to be able to live my life like it never happened. And what do you think you'll gain by getting over it? My life back? I'd like to feel safe. In my skin. I want my body to feel like it's mine. I haven't been sleeping well. I don't know if it's what happened. Or just my constant anxiety that I think I'm gonna let it happen again. 
I just want to sleep through the night. Do you think you're trouble sleeping? Maybe because you feel a lack of safety? That seems like it would make sense. It does, but I also think it's the idea that his name is attached to mine. And I'm terrified I'll ever be known as the girl who he raped. Not me. You always hear about the rapist and never the victim. Think about it. Jeffrey Epstein, Harvey Weinstein, Bill Cosby, the one that raped his victims and then brutally murdered them or murdered them and then raped their lifeless bodies. Ted Bundy. Yes, yes, that's it. You just proved my point. As, as a society, we don't care about the people that go through this. We say we do. And I guess we might try to, but we don't. If we did, we'd know their names. We'd care that this happened to them. Most of these men have done it to more women than you know. And because you can't prove it, he'll do it again. And again. And again. I can't sleep because I lay in bed at night thinking about if people find out all they're ever gonna see when they think about me is rape. I'm not my character or my personality or my achievements. I'm a tainted body and he made me that way. I was just a body to get what he wanted and dispose of. As are like so many other people, This might sound stupid, but when it happened, I, I looked up the statistics of rape. I thought it would make me feel better. It didn't. I read that one in five women will experience completed or attempted rape in their life. That means if you're in a room of 100 women, 20 of them have either experienced it or had someone try to. I also looked into the overall population of the world. How many women live in it? Four billion. That's almost a billion women raped. And I, I know that's not exact. But when it happened to me, I didn't want it to happen to anyone else. Not to mention the men and young boys that happens to. Those numbers are worse. It's not like anyone really cares. In the grand scheme of things, all we are are statistics. It made me realize that this happens all the time. No one cares. I feel voiceless compared to him. I could have concrete evidence and they wouldn't care. People would still choose to question my integrity. As if I'd even want to admit what happened. It's not something I'm proud of. It's not something you flaunt. What made you want to look up those statistics? What about that did you think would make you feel better? It's actually a really good question. I, I think I didn't want to feel alone. I didn't want to feel the isolation inflicted by it. I wanted someone to feel the pain with me. They say misery loves company, so yes. I guess I just want some company. Or to feel like it wasn't that bad. Or it was normal to some degree. You wanted the comfort of knowing you weren't alone. Exactly. But why would you want it to be normal? To excuse his behavior? No. I don't think so, at least. I think I want it to be easy to get over. I don't want it to affect me as much as it has. As much as it does. But I don't want anyone to know about it.
I felt dirty. But when I got home, my mom was waiting up for me. I think she knew before I ever said anything. Not only could she see how disheveled I was, I think she could see into my eyes. The way I looked at her. But she didn't say anything till I did. And my plan to hide it went out the window. When I told her she insisted we go to the police station, which I didn't want to do. Just if I'd gone to the bathroom since it happened. She wanted to know if there was any bruising or physical trauma. I don't know what I told her. I just kept replaying it in my mind. The way it felt in my body, how I felt emotionally, how he was gratified by it. Now I didn't stop him. Now I thought I could get him off of me. But I just froze up, and I let it happen. I let him do it to me. Before I knew it, they were doing a rape kit. I couldn't stop thinking about how everything I didn't want was inside of me that night. Him, cotton swab. They had me take off my clothes to take pictures of my naked body for evidence. I don't even think I was sad or mad at that point yet. I was completely numb. Watching the moment pass me by, I wasn't there. Can we stop there for today? I don't know how much longer I can talk about it. Of course. Yes, yes. We don't have to talk about anything you don't want to. Lily, this was a really good start for your first session. We still have about 20 minutes. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Thank you. Really, thank you. Um, but I think I'm all talked out for days. Is it okay if I just go home? Of course. But if you change your mind, I'm going to be here for the next 20 minutes, just in case. Dr. Wolf? Yes. I think you might be the right fit after all. Thank you.